Welcome back to Culture Clash Reactions and a very, very Merry Christmas to everybody. Cheers, babe. Ah, cheers, everyone. I <laughs> uh, hope everyone's having a wonderful Christmas day, whatever you're doing with your family and friends. Um, and if you've got no family and friends, well, at least you got us. So oh cheers. <laughs> I <laughs> hope everyone's doing well. Uh, for those who are new to the channel, my name is Fen. My name is Akasha. Um, I didn't want to sip of this now. Ew, you can hear it. <laughs> okay, lovely. I can actually concentrate now. Um, we're back with uh, another video, of course. Um, we're going to revisit. Uh, we never actually finished, and some people probably got mad as well. We never finished um, Idiot Abroad. We did, I think, four episodes, but we didn't yeah. finish it all the way through. Yeah. And it was only just to do with just like with work and life and craziness and trying yeah. to keep the channel going. And the episodes were an and hour And they're long videos, yeah. And we were just finding it difficult. But you've got the idea of Carl Pilkington. Yeah. You know what he's about. You know why he's brilliant. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love him. Mm -hmm. I think you've grown to love him. Yeah. This video we're going to watch uh, was uh, suggested to me just on my YouTube the other day. And I thought this would be a lot of fun. This is when Carl came home after the the, uh, the Wonders of the World. Okay. And they did an interview with him. Mm -hmm. And the interview is like an hour long and it's hilarious. But the, this is a segment of the interview where he's talking about... Um, inventions for some reason and he's came up after his seven wonders of the world he came up with an invention check it out okay shall we yeah let's do it seriously what about this we're not going to sort that out today idiot abroad fool's gold i give you a million to spend and you've got one year to make two million i've got a double a million yeah <laughs> you can you can gamble you can put it all on a horse or you can put a little bit on horse. You go show. to Dragon's Den. You go, I've got an idea. Clippable mug. What about the tie with, like, you can carry scissors in and well, stuff? It's already out there. Is it? Yeah. Oh, what, yeah. you, what was the first thing you'd do with that if I said you've got, you've got a year to make one million and you've, already, you've got this million? Just do loads of stuff. Well, then, go on then. What, what's the first thing what you do? Antiques and um, buy antiques, flog them on, art. Right. I'll buy a house in Bulgaria. What do you know about... Whoa, 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 whoa. You're going to buy a house in Bulgaria. That's your first thought. How much is the house in Bulgaria? 100 grand. Right. How much do you want to sell it for? <laughs> I'm going to sell it for 200. I'm going to do it all. You're going to double your money on a house Easy. within a year. Easy. You've got to make 130. Oh, yeah, I'm spinning plates here. This is what, what else you doing. So you've got to keep flying to Bulgaria to yeah, check on the I've got the local things. builders on it. Right. In right. Bulgaria? Yeah. <laughs> plate spinning. Right. Antiques on the go. I'm buying What's antiques? cards. You're buying scratch I'd cards. Buy a load of scratch How cards. many? Five thousand scratch cards. <laughs> I'd have some kids doing that. I'd say, right, you can have a fiver. Um, You're if giving you it all to all. I haven't got time. I'm giving <laughs> them to do. This is the <laughs> worst idea I've ever heard. That my my, my million's gone, isn't it? Yeah, it's no, it hasn't. I mean, I've just. It hasn't. If you've got money, you make money. That's a fact. Where is Bulgaria? <laughs> it's somewhere. I know Bulgaria is good for property. I've seen right. a lot of property programs. Do you That's mean what Belgravia? I do. I just watch. No, no, no. There's a lot of play things that you can do with property, antiques. I'm what buying else? classic cars and doing a what? So you're doubling your money on a classic car in a year? I'm, yeah, but I've made stuff. I've made inventions. What have you done? I do the Dragon's Den. Like you say, the clip on my idea. He's getting so mad. <laughs> he do you is have your cup there? But look at that saucer. Every time I have a have a little bit of tea. I'm talking to you, I've got to go like that. I've got to look exactly where I'm putting it again. Right. The clipper will mat is stuck on. It's, it's attached to it at all times. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So How's it going? And if what? I want, I don't have to put it down there, I can put it down there. I'm not limited as to the surface that I can put it on. It's attached. Washerproof. <laughs> Dishwasher proof. It's an idea. I'm <laughs> This is good. Cools you down. That's going to give you a headache, not get rid of one. <laughs> Look how complicated it is just for a toilet. <laughs> you yeah, have the, the skill of Bill Gates. Just have a shit. <laughs> you can't do any of that. You can't do that stuff. <laughs> but it's a robot. <laughs> Disappointing. Yeah, it's I a know. crisp picker up or a... If you want some crisps, but you don't want to get crisps on your hands, you use a crisp picker upper. I like the fact that you've got a bit of a rebellious streak in you sometimes. You go off road, and I, I called you when you're in Japan, and you drop this bombshell that you've finally decided the one thing you want to do before you die, and that was to invent something. And you said it's because you wanted to leave a legacy, which I thought was brilliant. 
Well, just cos you... you're dead longer than you're alive, aren't you? OK. I'm coming up with stuff all the time. That's why I think this is my strength that hasn't been used yet. I can't do this sort of thing, really, <laughs> this sort of job of being on the telly. Look at Dyson. He's look only a vacuum it. cleaner. <laughs> yeah, he's up there with Einstein and everything. He's well rated. Just for a vac. And I reckon I can come up with something better than that. It doesn't have to be a cure for cancer. I'm not going to come up with that. All I can do is come up with something that I needed at the time and that I think other people will go, do you know what, that's a pretty good invention. So something that benefits mankind? Yes. OK. He, he, he pitched me the idea over the phone and I said, I'm out. <laughs> OK, well, <laughs> pitch it to me now, then. Right. In Japan, they don't have these... You mean they don't have... Chairs. They don't have chairs? Yeah, of course they have chairs. You try finding one. <laughs> sit on the floor all the time. <laughs> when you go in a restaurant, you sit down cross-legged. You get a flat arse and your legs <laughs> ache. Yep. Right. So you've invented what? It's the Pilco pump pant. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Pilco pump pant. It's a pair of pants with a cushion built in the arse. The inflatable pant. <laughs> Stops your arse from getting wet. <laughs> For men. <laughs> or women. <laughs> Do you know the thing you put on your neck? <laughs> when you're on long flights? <laughs> yeah. I've used that. That isn't That's how the finished thing would like, look when I, when I make it. You know, this is a prototype. <laughs> Pilco pump. <laughs> Pilco pump. Pilco pump. It's got a good ring to it. It does. I sold some on a shopping channel. You're slagging them off, you're saying, I'm out. Watch this. But this is the lovely man I was talking about. It is our lovely Carl to bring you some trousers. All right, how's it going? Hello. <laughs> good one, good one. Excited. Morning, everyone. Hope you're well. It's the pants we're selling today. Look at that. Not bad, that, is it? You've come on the telly to flog me a pair of pants. Look at the side of yeah, it. pants. We've seen pants before. You haven't, have you? You haven't seen these pants. It's that bit there, that's the shower. <laughs> that's what we're here for, that's what we're talking about. It's the Pilco pump pant. The way it works is you've got a big zip. A good quality zip. Look at that. It doesn't stick. It's a quality zip. <laughs> it quality zip. All right? Open it. There it is. There's the cushion. You might have one of these already. Shove it in there. You know you're going to be sat down for a while. You're waiting for that order of the sofa. You're waiting at the bus stop. You haven't got a seat because the queue's big. The buses are delayed. Where are you going to sit? Well, the beauty is you can <laughs> sit <laughs> where you want. Sit on concrete. Sit on the road. Not on the road. That's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> sit on the pavement. Sit on grass. How good is that? And there's only 15 pairs available. 15 pairs in the whole world. Do you want to be one of the 15? Still 15 I do. <laughs> I got it too. Look at him. Uh, Look at him in them. There you go. It's, 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 it's terrible. I'll show you how easy it is again. It looks like some sort of medical yeah. procedure, doesn't it? That's what people would think if they saw you walking They about. think that you'd, you'd think you've had your ass removed. <laughs> Look at that for a pocket. <laughs> Look at that. Like I say, we're carrying more and more stuff around. Think with you're carrying car. stuff in that. The, your your yeah. arse. Yeah. Rattling yeah. around with stuff. Yeah. Mobile phones. <laughs> Football. Laptops, iPads, all that lot. Fruit. Look at, that. Look at the size of that. Who's pocket. putting a laptop in, the, in their arse? <laughs> a laptop. Milk, loaf, you know, bread. You don't buy a carrier bag. They're charging you five pence a bag at the moment at a supermarket. Yeah. No, I'm not buying a bag. You just turn round at the cash point, stick your milk in there, stick your bread in there, off you go. A big, big <laughs> pocket. You've got this. He's, he's deadly serious. Health and safety these days. You've got that in there. You like a walk. Maybe buy some for your young kid. He's taking You're walking it by in the canal. Out, so he falls in. Is he a good swimmer? I don't know. You tell me. But if he falls in, he's got something to keep him buoyant. If he falls in the pool. Upside down, like that. He's drowning. Like, 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 like a yes. like yeah. I'm just saying, there's a possibility that he could. Help him out if he falls in a canal. Two left. A lake, a river. They're selling. Um, anything else? Anything else goes? Hang on, let's see how the orders are going. Have we had anyone calling in yet? Two people on the phone. What do they want? Do they want to talk to me or is that just... <laughs> They've gone. We've sold them. Job done. We got chuffed in He's so chuffed. chuffed. These are how they look in real life. This is the Pilky Pump Pant. <laughs> Pilko Pump Pant. <laughs> yep. OK. I mean, it looks ridiculous. I it does look ridiculous. Type. It's like most fashion them. these days. OK, no, good, yeah, no, yeah, if it was... Yeah, no, you're right, yeah, it's all arbitrary. Sit down. Yeah. Sit, well, why are you sitting well, here? Well, yeah, you don't need a chair. That's doubled up. You must be too comfortable. <laughs> sit on the floor. That actually looks really uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Sit on the floor there, cos that would be... And I suppose right. particularly useful if you've had a finger up the arse. Right, there you go. So... Right. Yeah. Dead comfy. Yeah. Really comfy. 
Um, Dead comfy. Carl, can you go and bring me my sort of bread and milk and stuff that I... Have you got five pence for a carry bag? I, I, I haven't, no. Well, I haven't. Hang on, don't worry about that. See you in a minute. What did you want? Bread and milk. Some groceries, yeah. <laughs> Look, imagine oh, walking in no. the street wearing that. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, it looks... <laughs> It looks Look how saggy. fucking ridiculous. He doesn't know. It does. Just it looks like that. You, no, no one, no one will walk down the street like that. Hang on. Hold on, Carl. I've bought you. Um. No, look, look, Carl. Carl. There's no restrictions. I've bought you a couple of cups and saucers. <laughs> yeah. Can you take? I bought you these for you. you got a bag. Time. I haven't got a bag. No, just pop them right, in there. Pop them in. You, you, yeah. You see, you... Yeah, just. Oh, well, can you... Shove them in. Yeah, just put them in there. <laughs> there you go. Be, yeah. Do you right. want to say? Oh, safe. Good. <laughs> They're safe for that, yeah. All right, OK, all right, yeah. Go ahead. Run for the bus, oh. mate. Quick, they, 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 they just run, keep run, fucking with it. Run for the bus. <laughs> Suzanne's at home. Oh, <laughs> here comes Carl. Here comes Carl <laughs> with our new crockery. Honestly, that isn't pulling me down or anything. That is fine. That's... It's absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. No, well, you'd bubble wrap them normally, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, God! Unbelievable. What a legend. He's so funny. What a legend. He's so funny. And uh, honestly, I, th I still think intentionally funny as well. I still think. Intentionally? Un unintentionally, Oh, no, sorry. I think he's being funny, too. Oh, it, for sure, he knows he's hilarious. Yeah, he knows he's funny. But, um... <laughs> I kind of want a pair now. Pilco. I bet need some for Christmas. There must be so, there's 15 people in the world that have that, and they're like they obviously bought it for novelty. They didn't buy it because they actually wanted one. Like, oh, right. that's good. But then again, out of 15, I bet there's at least one. Yeah. That went. You know what? I've been thinking the same. I this is something. a great idea. I need something for my ass. <laughs> my ass is killing me. I need yeah. something. Excellent. Excellent. At first, I was like, I would kind of want a pair, and then after I looked at them, they actually don't look that comfortable to sit on. Babe, they look insane. Too Never mind. <laughs> I know I'm mental. I'm literally thinking about ergonomics here. Oh, okay. All right. Um great. I actually was uh, also thinking as well. It's a shame the three of them don't like really I mean they, they it's ran its course that trio. It was a mm -hmm. great trio. Yeah. Uh, cuz they had I think at one point they had the best selling pod like this is before even podcasts were really a thing. Theirs was like number 1 by yeah. like hundreds of millions. Like the three of them together were just like a fantastic uh trio. Did I call them duo? A fantastic no, trio. trio um and it's a shame that, it, but it, it's not that. Oh, I wish it could come back. No, everything. No, it had, had its time. time and everything has its time, and they're and then all older now. And you can watch reruns. Of, and you reruns can watch re them, That's so. why when it got suggested, I was like, I, I remember seeing this years ago. I remember laughing my ass, and I thought, I'll show you this. You'll probably enjoy it. It's good. But uh, the Pilko pump pant. I wonder what, what would you would you invent anything if you can invent something. I had an amazing idea, oh, but on, someone took it already. Oh, but, uh, well, okay. Well, this so was wasn't... a long time ago when I was young. Go on then. I had this idea to, you know, like if you make a taco or a, like a soft taco or a burrito or whatever. Sure. And it doesn't stay together. Yeah. Okay. I had an idea of making something that's edible, that's sticky, that you can wrap around it to keep it together. <sighs> Like some type of like hot sauce flavor or something like that to like. So if you make a taco, you make a burrito, uh, not even a burrito, because, you know, those little tacos, you can't fold the ends in the way they do at like Mexican restaurants. Right. So if it's just like this, but the, it all falls apart. So what you can do is to keep it together so you don't have to fit. You don't have <laughs> to. Go on. Have to so you don't have to fit them. Go on. Excellent. Physically hold it together. Shut yeah. up. Then you wrap something around it and that'll keep it together and you can make it like a flavor like like a hot salsa flavor or cheese flavor or something and then some little fucking kid did it and it, i had that idea because i said it i mentioned it out loud and then i saw it somewhere that some like young kid invented it but that's act on honestly a great idea i personally think the pilko pump pants better to be honest <laughs> I think is a great. Yeah. To be honest, I've got none. So like, as soon as I even that think surprised of me because I feel like you would have a file on your laptop with like eight hundred ideas. Not inventions. I'm not like. In, 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 yeah, to, you're not like, really a handyman. Not really. I'll be honest. Thanks for letting everyone know. I'm shy yeah, to putting no. up shelves and changing light bulbs. No. 
Anyway, all right, good fun. Carl Pilkinson, Ledge. Any other videos like that that you'd like to um, suggest? Anything with him and Ricky, and and especially like when they're smaller segments like that. I think there was, I think there was another one where we had. I think if I remember now, it just hit me. I had a mm. prostate test. Oh God, and I they, bet that would be a funny one. I'm pr- I'm pretty we'll sure that, that that might be one. But anyway, any other suggestions? Please let us know. One more time, a Merry Christmas to all of our subscribers and all of our viewers. If you're a viewer, you should be subscribed by now. 93% of our viewers are not subscribers. Bastards. Wow. It's Christmas. Wow. Give us a gift. It's for free. It's a free subscription. It's free. Anyway, cheers to everyone. Thanks for joining us for our second Christmas on the channel. Thanks for always being there, uh, viewers, and joining us. We appreciate each and every one of you, even all the people that hate me. But uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Ta-da!